good morning to the grind. Good morning to the grind. Good morning to the grind. I got the big, big cup this morning, man. We fired up this morning. I had an amazing meeting out there in Ontario, California, with my brothers and sisters in success yesterday, last night, man. It was amazing. We're on the move. We're in a movement. We're on motion. And again, it's an amazing day. Uh, we get to get up. He woke us up this morning for some reason, for some purpose, for some kind of design. We were blessed with another opportunity to strive to put the best foot forward. And that's what the Grindology 101 virtual podcast is all about. I'm your God, Kijana Owens, and each and every morning, Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, get up to, to omit, you know, project positivity, inspiration, encouragement, just from the trenches that we get to do the work that we say we would do for ourselves. We say we would do for our family that we're designed to do just by being committed. So today we're talking about the commitment. Commitment. We we say we were going to do something. We we say we were going to uh, get the degree, whatever, whatever it was. It, commitment is doing what you said you would do well after the mood in which you set it in has passed. Commitment is doing what you said you would do well after the mood in which you said you would do it in has passed. That's it. You said you're going to sign up. The team made all these maneuvers to get you where you're going to be positioned. There's a lot of people that could be affected by the commitment that you gave. Like the commitment you gave also put other people into where a, a position was filled based on a commitment that was given. And sometimes we reflect on how it is for ourselves in the commitment and think it's only about ourselves for the, what we committed to. I committed to be a teacher's aide Monday, Wednesday, and Friday last month, somewhere in between last month and now that commitment doesn't hold much weight. So I break the commitment that I gave. Now the people that I committed to have to maneuver to replace where the commitment did not follow through. So follow through with the commitment to what you committed to. Fresh fire. Absolutely. Good morning. Good morning there. This is Tony Viola champion out there in San Bernardino, California, Victorville, leading the charge, planet marketing worldwide. My sister's success is always a pleasure and an honor. Good to see you last night at, at showing up for your own success and being committed to what you want to do with your life. And again, you know, commitment, commitment. I said I, I wanted to, you know, add an additional income uh, for my family. And I told my family I was going to do some work to, to, make a difference for for my family but somewhere in between that uh they they and and generally when we don't follow through with the commitment the first word out of the mouth is are oh, they or it or them or something other than ourselves stops the commitment ah uh, they they i don't know they wanted you to come early oh, i don't know they did that much oh, i don't know that is and, and what happens is the way you do one thing is the way you do everything. So if you look at the commitment that you may have given to something that we didn't commit to, we've all done it. So like I said, it's always the trenches. So it's not you, him, them. It's we. You know, we. We get up. We we commit. So we gave a commitment and somewhere in between something changed. And, and, and look how easy it is to just break the commitment. Think of uh, back in the day, I think one thing that changed being committed is the access to being able to quit easily or not do something easily, like an appointment. Uh, as a young man, if you had it from Pasadena, California, if I had the time that I was going to meet somebody way in Compton or way in wherever it is, there was no phone to call or text to say I couldn't make it. 
you 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 had to, you, they were they counted on you and that, the word was the word you you were there you made that appointment two weeks ago it was no you didn't have to keep calling and following up and asking them where they're gonna do it or not and when you showed up at the place the other person was expected to be at the place but now in today's time you can say anything and not do anything and still be okay about everything that's got to change let's get to it this is the Morning Grind 101 a virtual podcast. We're talking about commitment today. You made the commitment, not somebody else. They asked you. You said yes. And somewhere in between, yes, and activity of yes, you didn't do it. When we do that, we create a, I guess it would say, a personality characteristic of consistency. They're not going to do it. They're going to come for a minute. Be gone for a minute. And you don't want to be that person. You want to be the one that come in hot and heavy and be gone in a minute. So let's work on commitment. Commitment to yourself. Not, not commitment to anybody else. That, that's one thing I wanted to get clear to. Not commitment to something or someone else. Commitment to you and what you said you would do. Let's get on to it. Some mojo. It's the morning grind one on one virtual podcast. I got my big cup this morning. I got my big cup. It's going to be a coffee day. See you on the other side. Everybody wants the prize, but nobody loves the process. Everybody wants to be a champion, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to be a champion. Everybody wants to hold up the trophy and say, man, I did it, but nobody's willing to put in the work that it takes to do it. I love the process. I love the thought of working for what I want. And I firmly believe you're never supposed to wish for it more than you're willing to work for it. Your expectations are never supposed to exceed your effort. But a lot of people, they wish, and they're not willing to work. And the great thing about life, life has a funny way of testing all of us and seeing how bad we really want what it is that we say we want. What if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged, they become frustrated, and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Take quit not your vocabulary. Take it out. Cry if you must. Rest if you must. But the worst thing you can do is quit. When you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. You get to a point when you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me. When you leave, what you fighting for? What's your legacy? What you going to do? You say you a champ, but do you practice like a champ? You say you a champ, do you fight like a champ? You say you a champ, do you have the mentality of a champ? The universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied. You've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment.
commit to your commitment. Commit to your commitment. Commit to your commitment. Commit to your commitment. Things change. Make the adjustment. Fair enough. Stuff happens. Make the adjustment. Fair enough. But when we commit to something, that means I, I've told somebody something that I would do. And, and most times, even before someone else, like I said before, it's always them and they committed to me that I would do something. And I told somebody else that I would do something. So someone on the other end of what I said I would do is counting on me to do what I said I would do. I took the job. Um, they told me to come on Monday. They stopped the hiring process because someone committed to the job, but I don't show up to the job. Fair for me. I changed my mind. Not a problem. That might be who I am. But the job now has to make adjustments. The people that I committed to now have to make adjustments. Sometimes if you think about it, it's kind of selfish, right? You told the company that you would produce a product and somewhere in there, most times we, we think it's not uh, the value that we think we should receive for the commitment becomes the blockage for doing what we said we were committed to. But they ought to pay me. Really, you know, they, they I should have did it this way, but you already said you would do it. So so you got the block is what, what you said you would do. Then somewhere in there you thought about, well, I, I should be getting some kind of accolade for that instead of doing what I said I would do. That, that's That's not the way it works. It, it, it works by maybe there is a change in the understanding. Fair enough. That's communication, straight and direct. Uh, maybe there is a, a difference or a change in time and situations. Fair enough. Stuff happens. That's communication as well. But when I tell someone I'm going to meet them at uh, the Hot Springs today, next week, and I got a no call, a no call, and a no show. What that tells that person is my commitment and my word is no good. Do you want that to be you? A lot of people talk about a lot of people. But what do people talk about when they talk about you? We'll be right back. Success Express Marketing Solutions presents your virtual video podcast studio. Let the Success Express team help bring your podcasting dreams to life. Here's what we do. We help you come up with show ideas, design graphics for your show, set up your podcast studio, and run the back end of your show. So what do you do? Be ready for your show. Make sure your guests are ready. Log into the virtual studio. Turn your cameras on and go. Not sure you're ready to go live on a monthly or a weekly basis? You can get the Try Us Out Success Special. It's only $97 with free design setup. All you got to do is try us out and I guarantee you're going to want more. So get set up today with your virtual video podcast studio from Success Express Marketing Solutions. So go online to Success Express MKTG and we'll get you set up today. Sign up now and get our free ebook, Modern Podcasting, that'll teach you all the techniques you need to know to get your podcast started today. There is a difference between passion and obsession. When you're passionate, everybody cheers you on. They're stoked for you. Oh, you found your passion? Awesome. Follow your passion. Live with passion. Be passionate. Chase your passions. Everything. Like passion, 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 passion. Passion's good. Like the world's gonna be like, yay, passion. When you're obsessed, they're like, why you gotta be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always gotta get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. So it's different. If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. You're not there yet. Because somebody in your life should say, 
man, you really care about this in like a crazy way. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide clubs, partying, trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. I'm obsessed with improvement. Every day I'm getting better. There are those of you with phones, and every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. Every piece of software, you get it. You are upgrading your technology, and you've not upgraded yourself. So listen to me, there are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. We do not retreat, we do not give up, we do not surrender. And the reason why most of you are not successful is because every single time stuff's not going your way, you give up, you quit, you let go, and people feel weakness, they feel it. You can feel when somebody's not committed, when they're not all in, when they're not dedicated, and there's another level you get to when you go all in. You have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream the dream. You have to see it when nobody else sees it. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You gotta be possessed with the dream. And I dare you under every single circumstance, keep looking at your dream, keep focusing on your dream, keep going after the dream, because that's where true success is. So they cut Michael Jordan from the basketball team in high school. And it's not that he had committed to the team. He had committed to himself. He had committed something to himself in the dark and into himself that it wasn't over for him. He said he was going to do something. And as you see going across the strings, across the screen, you know, why be ordinary when extraordinary is available? It's a little extra. I, I, I love this um, this video on Dennis Rodman. It's the, this tenacity to get that rebound, to tip that loose ball. You think he, you know he got the rebounds, you know he got the steals, but the tip balls, the the, the uh, extra effort, uh, the the mental uh, stability in the game to disrupt other people in the game. You know, if, you know that's some old school stuff. These these youngsters they don't know about. You know, back then, right? But that commitment, that, that extra to the ordinary, and it, and it does something to people too. E extra, that's that's the kiss up, that's the suck up, that's the that's the one that comes early, that's the all the, all those things that kind of go along. That's the nerd, right? The nerd that stays after class that messes up the grade and curve. Uh, I I remember being on the low curve. I didn't, I didn't want that high grade too much in the class because I could kind of slide right in with the ordinary but that's a mindset and, and that's 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 a mindset that sometimes we're committed to without knowing we're committed to that committed to just enough to uh keep the job while the job is committed to just enough pay to help us not quit you know it's just just enough when when are we going to decide that just enough is not enough for yourself, it's just enough. Enough, man. You, you got. I think about it every day. You know, it's it's it's, it's so much. Just enough. This is uh, this is America. In this country, we we're facing. I mean, you got 
time that great. You got babies. I mean, elementary school kids. Right? We we got so so many scenarios going on in in this country right here. And at the same time, you've got so many scenarios going on in this country. This this, this is just one of those places, right? This is one of those amazing opportunity uh, overcoming places that you can decide that I'm going to take an extreme catastrophe and turn it into an extreme blessing here. That's the kind of, you know, the way I look at the world. What difference can we make with situations that we may not have liked, situations that we, we may not have painful as they are. How do we come out on the other side? How do we still remain committed to what we say we would do when the worst of the worst happens to us? As we pray for uh, these families, loss of life, Rob Elementary School, you know, um, in this day and time, how can, you know, things like this happen? Staying committed, finding a way. Find a way to turn pain and passion into purpose. How, how do we find a way to still make the amazing gift that he gave us of free will, uh, make an opportunity to say, I can make a difference still. We'll be right back. Life is an echo. What you send out comes back. What you sow, you reap. What you give, you get. What you see in others exists in you. Do not judge so you will not be judged. Radiate and give love and love comes back to you. I will try 100 times to get up and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. And it's not the end until you've given up. You have to start living your life in expectation. You have got to start expecting great things to happen for you in order for it to happen. If you live your life in expectations, that's what happens to you. If you live your life in despair, that's what happens to you. Disengage your sense of self, your sense of self-worth from achievement. Once you are holy, focused on sincere pursuit, everything changes. I'll never be rich. You won't. You won't. The moment you change the frequency that your tower emits, different things come back to you. If you change your attitude, you change your altitude. Most of us go through life pretending. Pretending that we're satisfied where we are, pretending that everything is okay, pretending that, that we don't have any special goals or ambitions or desires, when really deep down inside we do really want more. Because you have to judge a tree by the fruit it bears, not the fruit that it talks about. See, a lot of people pretend that they want more out of life, but all you have to do is watch their actions. Just watch the actions. Watch the actions. Again, um, just a, an amazing, an amazing, amazing man. Um, turn of events in, in, in our world. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a lot of stuff going on. At the end of the day, how do we maintain a balance of? It's got to do what I got to do. 
you know, people ain't going to like it. People aren't going to stay with it. But who are you in it? Who who are you in what you said you would do? Who are you in what you said you would do? Not not who they are, not what they said. It didn't, that they didn't, you know, so on and so forth and the great and all the rest of that kind of stuff right there. Great morning to the grind, sir. Absolutely, man. It's another amazing day out there, Mr. Neosha Morris. Uh, change your attitude. Change of attitude gives new direction. Yep, that's absolutely right, Mr. Roscoe Leon's DNA of the grind. My daddy out there on the ground early this morning, man. Thank you for tuning in, chiming in uh, for your own success every day, sir. Commitment, commitment, commitment. Commitment make commitment makes you weird. Commitment makes you odd because people are easy to break commitment so much. So that that puts the people that are willing to stay committed in the arena where the success lies, where where all the things that you wanted in your life are even more available today because less people to do what they say. There's so many op- options out there not to do. It's easy not to do, just like it's easy to do. It's y'all mindset. Uh, if you signed up, sign in. If you join, be a part of it. If you said you would, do it. If if you said you, you'd be there, be there. If you said you couldn't, you couldn't. That's fair enough. But if you say you are, be a star. Show up. It's going to be an amazing day, man. Uh, get on out there. Believe uh, success builds upon itself like momentum. And the earlier you capture it, like early, you got to capture it early. I almost put it in the can. It starts to build upon itself. You know, a call comes in, an email you've been looking for, maybe that invoice you sent out uh, a while ago, uh, that, that contract that you've been looking for coming. That opportunity that you dove into that really haven't taken, you know, a hold of fully. Today is the day. Do the work today. Be committed today. It's sure tomorrow. Hey, man, it's been a Grindology one-on-one virtual podcast. I'm your guy, Kijan Owens, man. Each and every day that we get a blessing to be, man, you might as well be the best you could be. We'll see you on the grind. Have a good one.